Hey, shalom y'all. Hey guys, it's Fletch. Uh, I just finished uh, packaging up all of the, the wheat berries and so I wanted to make a little, um, well, I, I audited all the video that I shot, which is something that I typically do. And I did touch on this a little bit, but I wanted to uh, further further explore for you guys because I'm sure that some of, your, some of you out there are thinking, well, Fletch, there's no way that I could ever put together $300 uh, to come up with, you know, 15 buckets of food like you just did for your family. I'm on a fixed income and I just simply cannot do it. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that the harsh reality of life is that on any given month, I probably couldn't either without dipping into savings, right? I just don't have that much of a pad or cushion in my month to month life. And so uh, I've been planning on this, right? And uh, for those of you that, that uh, probably live similar to us, uh, you know, we get an income tax refund every year. And every year that I get that, I take some of that money and I set it aside for important things that I know that I want to do later in the year. And, uh, you know, I take the money out of the bank, uh, I set it aside in a safe place, and then when I'm ready to do a project like the food in the buckets, then I have that money that's available to me and I can use it and I've done it enough times now that I know generally speaking about what it's going to cost to do that project. And so for those of you out there that are saying that you can't afford that, um, honestly guys, there's a lot of you out there that you actually can. You just need to reprioritize your family's money and, and what you're doing with it. And um, actually, those of you that are still living in Babylon, quote unquote, a lot of you are in the same place as well. You're just not yet to the place that you're willing to give up the things that your flesh cries out for so that you can come out of her, my people. And so hopefully uh, I'm encouraging some of you out there to take an honest look uh, at your life, how you're spending your money and what you're doing with it. And understand guys, you know, that I used to be a financial advisor and you know, I was licensed that I could actually charge people by the hour just to talk to me about how to invest their money. So I do have an idea of what I'm talking about, okay? And you know, the, the average person can afford to do this, I promise you. It just requires you to be serious about it and to reprioritize how you're spending your money. And the first thing that if you've never done it, the first thing that, that most of you out there need to do is for one month to track every penny that you spend. Yes, I said every penny. Track every penny that you spend. So after you have tracked how you spend every penny for a month, then be honest with yourself and sit down and assess that. And I think that a lot of you out there, if you're being honest with yourself, and uh, you go through there, you'll see, you know, that, that you have a lot more extra money uh, available to you that if you were to reprioritize that, um, that, <laughs> that you may find that you may find that there's there's more money in your monthly budget than what you think. And uh, I know something that, that um, my wife and I did at one point was that um, you know after the bills were paid you know we kind of split up whatever was left over and we did the envelope system and you know we had x amount of dollars for groceries and once it was gone it was gone and you know we had x amount of dollars in the entertainment envelope and once it was gone it was gone and you know she had x amount of dollars in her envelope that she could spend Sorry, fly, <laughs> fly bothering me. Uh, once, you know, the money in her envelope was gone to spend on what she wanted to, well, it was gone and same for me. That is a real good way. Do that for five or six months, the envelope system. After you've tracked how you spend your money every month so you know where it's all actually going, right? And then do the envelope system and that will discipline you to only spend what you have to not spend money when you don't have it and to have to learn the hard lessons that, gosh, 
we spent the grocery budget in three weeks and we got a fourth week left. Well, next month we're gonna have to do better. It's beans and rice for the next week. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, oh, and uh, one other thing I wanted to add, um, something that I think might help a lot of you guys out there is to those of you that live around um, a service that does uh, your groceries for you, whether it's delivering the groceries to your house or allows you to do the pickup. I know a lot of the Kroger's are doing that now. I know that Walmart is doing that now. Buy your groceries online and don't do it while you're hungry. And that will keep you from making a lot of the impetuous purchases that you do when you're in the store, right? You're walking around and you see something on an end cap. Oh yeah, that looks good, right? Um, that will help you control what you're spending. Uh, none of that because, you know, when you're ordering them online like that and you know what the total is before you hit purchase, right? Not like it is, uh, you know, when you're buying your groceries and you get up there and, you know, you're thinking it's 150 bucks and it's 200, right? And, uh, you know, are you going to embarrass yourself and say, no, you know, those last 10 items, put those back or, you know, start going through the stuff you already bagged right? <laughs> and, oh, I don't want that I don't want that take all those off you know we got to get this under you know 175 because that's my budget um, if you know what your budget is and you know you're doing like your your major once a month purchase like we typically do because we don't live close to the store um, that's something out there that might help some of you as well and yes guys I know I know there's some of you out there that um, you know there's not enough money every single month and you know it's about robin peter to pay paul and guys i'm not talking to you okay i'm not talking to you i'm talking to those of you out there that got that pit in your stomach right now because what i'm talking about is, is grinding on you isn't it because you know you know i'm telling you the truth don't you <laughs> guys i've been there right yeah and i'm preaching to the choir to a lot of you i know as well but I, I, I want to encourage you that, yes, you can. And guys, uh, you know, I understand that, you know, I've talked to people that have told me that before, you know, that they couldn't afford to invest or they couldn't afford life insurance and all these different things. And, you know, they're spending $400, yes, $400 a month on Starbucks for he and she. <laughs> Swear up and down, you know, can't afford to invest can't afford you know different things like that so uh the point in that is i want to challenge you to do better i want to challenge you to you know start thinking about the future start investing in your future in your family and taking care of them yah forbid that that uh you know hard times come all right bless you